I have been every voice. You are the chosen one! I had you! This is where the fun begins. Inside your head. Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. Originally I was going to do this as a live stream but I've had some really frustrating technical difficulties on my end but I promise I will do one of those soon. So anyway enough jibber jabber let's dive straight into it. Sebastian Stan has finally responded to Star Wars fans who want to see him play a young Luke Skywalker. This is something I've talked about a lot on my channel especially since The Mandalorian Season 2 ended. A lot of people have been wondering will he play Luke Skywalker if Luke is going to be in The Mandalorian Season 3. In an interview with Good Morning America Stan addressed the dream casting which includes fan art of the actor as young Luke Skywalker. While there are no confirmed plans for a Luke Skywalker series, Mark Hamill recently made an appearance as the iconic Jedi through the power of de-aging CGI. In the interview, Sebastian Stan was asked about Luke Skywalker and he said, If Mark Hamill calls me personally to tell me that he feels inclined to share this role with me, then I'll believe it. Until then, I won't. So upon hearing this, a lot of Star Wars fans took to Twitter and went through the archives. They've discovered that on two separate occasions over the last few years, Mark Hamill has already given his stamp of approval. On the 10th of March of 2018, Mark Hamill tweeted, Sebastian doesn't need my stamp of approval. He's a wonderful actor and is never less than great in anything he does. In the year prior to that, he said, sorry to disappoint you, but I refuse to say, Sebastian Stan, I am your father. So what we can deduce from this is that Mark Hamill is a Sebastian Stan fan and he'd be more than happy to see him play a younger version. So what we can gather from this news is that it's not a hard no but it's not a yes either. I can't imagine that Sebastian Stan has been contacted yet by Disney but if he has he's clearly keeping it under wraps. But if we're being completely honest he probably hasn't been. And this leads us to the bigger question of is Luke Skywalker going to be in The Mandalorian Season 3? Given the ending we got for Season 2 it seems like Luke and Grogu's storyline is going to be put on hold for the meantime. Time. It's pretty unlikely that we're going to see them in season 3 and if we do it'll probably be near the end. Instead, I reckon the season is going to focus on Bo-Katan and Mando the Darksaber, reclaiming Mandalore and a lot more focus on Mandalorian creed and tradition. I think the Jedi subplot is done, at least for now. If Luke Skywalker does appear in the future, it's most likely going to be in Star Wars Ahsoka or even The Mandalorian Season 4. There's also a good chance he's going to appear in Rangers of the New Republic. And if for whatever reason we do see him in Season 3, it might be brief so they might stick with the CGI for now. But what do you guys make of all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, give that bell a good old tickle and I will see you next time. I'm Star Wars Meg wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.